Let's see more blue screens. This time, memory errors caused by hardware. So the computer gets a blue screen and it's a bit scary because it could be a hardware error. Most of the time, it's not a hardware error. So updating Windows drivers would solve the problem. There are some errors which are more relevant as hardware errors. The reason is that if a driver is having a software issue, the error code would be different. In this video, I will present two such errors, which is page fault in non-page area and data bus error. There are quite a lot more blue screen error codes, but I think these two are related because they both relate to faulty RAM. Let me explain a bit more about page fault in non-page area by switching to an instance of Windybug in which I've already opened a memory dump, a blue screen memory dump, and I've already run analyze minus V. Let me scroll up the list over here to go to the exception record. The exception record for this memory dump is page fault in non-page area. The exception record lists out a few arguments. The first argument is the memory being referenced and the other arguments are the metadata about the memory being referenced. This particular exception can be a software exception, but most likely is a hardware exception. Let me explain why. RAM or random access memory is a microchip on an integrated circuit that is attached to the motherboard, which the CPU can use. The CPU also has memory inside it, which is called cache, but it's quite small and used for optimization. The operating system uses the hard disk as memory as well, which is known as virtual memory. When a program is running, the virtual memory is copied into the physical memory so that the CPU can access it. The copying is slow because it goes through the system bus. The bus is pretty complex with a north and south bridge. But the general takeaway is that the hard disk is quite slow. So the virtual memory is used to hold pages, not access them. Once in physical memory, the CPU can fetch the pages. This is where things go wrong. What if the physical RAM is defective? That causes the CPU to raise an interrupt when it's trying to read the memory block. This is why the exception is non-paged area. It's the part of the physical memory that is meant to be constantly present. If a driver reads memory from the defective block, this blue screen occurs. It's technically possible for this to be a software error. However, if it is in the non-paged area, Generally, it's a hardware error. A data bus error is almost exclusively a hardware error. This error occurs when memory is copied across the bus and the parity check at the end of the copying does not match. What happens is bytes are copied from a piece of hardware and when it is copied across the bus and inserted into RAM, the parity check at the very end uh, detects that the data was not copied correctly. This is almost always a hardware related error. So if you get data bus error, just assume it's hardware related and it probably can never be caused by a piece of software. So if you get a memory dump, which says page fault in non-page area or data bus error, uh, what do you do? Well, the first thing you gotta do is update all the Windows drivers just in case it's a software error. But if you can't rule that out, then testing the memory is a good uh, second option to do because you can actually find tools to test hardware that can give a result whether the hardware is working or not. The oldest and most famous memory testing tool is Memtest86. I will recommend running Memtest86 if you suspect that the RAM has got an error in it or the RAM chips themselves are defective. You can download this tool from memtest86.com I will put a link in the description below on where you can get this tool. This is probably the most trusted tool in testing memory. You can run this on any operating system because it actually doesn't run in the operating system. It runs before the operating system is loaded. So you don't have to worry about whether you have Windows or Linux or anything like that. You can run Memtest86 on any computer that has RAM. If the memory passes all the tests and is not defective, but you're still getting data bus errors, then it's probably a problem of the bus itself. 
that's a bit more difficult to diagnose. You might have to switch to a different motherboard. But if you're getting RAM errors like defective RAM, Memtest 86 will have some recommendations on what to do. If you have extra RAM, just swap it around. If you only have one stick of RAM, then it might be time to just pull that stick out and change it to a different stick. Um, just follow the guidelines of Memtest 86 when it's finished doing its run and it will tell you what to do. But I have actually never seen a system where Memtest 86 has said the RAM is defective, continue to work after that. If it says it's defective, it's probably defective. Anyway, these two errors point towards hardware errors. These are quite rare these days. Generally, when computers come from Dell or HP, they've been properly tested and it's quite rare to still get these kind of defective errors. However, if you assemble your own computers, especially gaming computers, these are very prone and very sensitive to RAM timing, RAM speed and all these other complicated problems. These memory dumps still occur. When I see this memory dump, the highest probability is a self-built computer where someone tried to build a gaming computer and there was just a bit of a, a mess up in there. Very difficult to solve, but generally these kinds of memory dumps with the data bus and the non-page pool do not occur on most computers. They're quite rare. In most of the times in which I've genuinely seen page fault in non-page area, uh, it has been hardware errors. Anyway, if you have seen this before, let me know in the comments below and also let me know what you did about it. Did you just update Windows and the problem goes away or did you have to change the hardware and pull out the actual defective hardware in order to solve this problem? Gentle reminder to subscribe, hit that bell icon and give me a like if you like the content. It's been a pleasure bringing you this information. I am High Voice, signing out.